I feel the need to paint the ground under this thing. Slightly better when you do that, I think. Uh, Planet Coast is nice, but there's a lot more work involved decorating unless you download the workshop stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. It, because it gives you such ridiculous flexibility, there's also a lot more work. I really don't like the way that edging happens. do that. Well, I need some lighting in the new tech area. That's what we need. Martin, how are you doing? Which is the best lamp for tech area, do you think? Like this one? That's a bit... That's a bit... Mm, haunted. That's a bit... Gamey, playful. Hot with that. It's a bit bling. That seems like the most tech. Uh, what are the others up to? Who's... Who? Oli Cass. Somebody's left for a bit, if that's what you mean. This one? I don't know. Is that a techie? I don't know where you put that. I don't really know what's... I suppose that's got a solar panel on it. I guess it's techie. Your opinion, Plant Coaster was amazing when designing your roller coaster, but the detail required to make it look good makes it tedious. For me, it was more about it was more about the management side of it that Planet Coaster was lacking. It was the same problem in Jurassic World from the same company. Like the management side of it, they just got it wrong. Like it, either it became too micromanagery, or you. But there wasn't enough depth in it. It was like quite broad, but not very deep. It's a very difficult thing to balance. And I don't think they have experience in doing it. They're amazing at making great looking games, but when it came to the management, I don't think they had it right. I need a high tech bin. Uh, that one, recycling bin. That one, bit old school. Be that one, I guess.
I went to a park the other day that was themed around cars. It was called a car park. My jokes don't come much better. Lull. I don't know what to say about that, Chris. I'm sure we all appreciated that. Cringe laughing. <laughs> All right, let me save that. I know it's auto saving. Okay, we've got lights, we've got benches, we've got stuff down there. Uh, what are people thinking? This fruit juice is worth the money. We value your feedback. Making a killing on umbrellas. You think an advert would be good? For which ride, though? I think advertising a ride that you can get a lot of people on is the way to go. Like, if you do an advertising campaign for a ride, say, like the Helter Skelter thing, the amount of people that you can get on it is not worth it. You want a ride where when it brings in loads of people, lots of them can get on the ride at the same time. And that way you get loads of ticket prices back. Now this one here, what's that? Is that 10 people ago? 10 people on that side, 10 people on that side. Did you just say something about the hot dog being worth the money? Missed him now. Yeah, you get four goals on it. Is Pup's doing his job or slacking? I don't know. Uh, mechanic. Puppy. <laughs> he's, he's a level four guy and he's not repaired anything. It's just shocking. Shocking is what it is. Oh, only caught one extra vandal. 19 rides repaired, him. 19. Check it out, pups. 19 rides. Senatum's done four. He's done four rides. Pups is such a slacker. <laughs> such a slacker. Vandal's caught. Right. I think we send him for more training. He clearly doesn't know how to do this. Vrom isn't doing a good job either. He can go up to level 3. Trucker J is caught 2. And he's only level 1. Meanwhile... <laughs> Tamashanta just killing it. Absolutely killing it. Recent negative reviews decrease the interest in theme parks. Your park will see a decrease in visitors for a time. Hmm. Okay. I'm making three grand a month, but the numbers are going down now.
Do you reckon, Tom? I'm not so sure. We can now serve popcorn. You need to think about how you get in between these rides. I think maybe a tunnel coming out there might do it. Bring you over this side. Then the monorail side of things is also concerning. by the 4D. The, pro the problem is if you build, if you want to build food, we need to supply it. If you want to supply it, we need to build a depot. If you want to build a depot, we need to have a chunk of an area and we don't want to be too near these shops here. So I'm thinking the shops will probably be on that side. That's what we've got. Gentle monorail. Hmm. Is that what it is, Pups? Are you the supervisor? Do we have a power surge anywhere? I don't think we do. Power surge seems like a good thing to have in the tech zone, actually. You can have this as a giant lava pit. Park's looking good. It's getting there. It's starting to get there. Five grand just for that. Seriously. I don't think it's worth building shops here yet until we've got more rides, more draw over here. Haven't read the Apollo Fontaine. Uh... Wait, did he sign? I wasn't sure if he'd built it and, and kept it. Mechanics. Maintaining rocky roads is not one mechanic. Oh, there you go. Who was that? Tom. Sandy Tom fixed it. He's like, don't worry, boys. I'll sort it out. See, I kind of feel like this ride should not be here. This ride should be over here. It doesn't fit where it is now, because we have a tech zone. It really belongs over here. But if I delete it, I don't think we'll get much of a refund. Also, is this the bit where it broke? Because that's not exactly bringing the money in. Yeah, you can't move it. You can't move stuff. We'd have to bulldoze it. I think what we'll do. Oh, rip. There's all these prefabs. Great. But that's the only problem with prefabs, isn't it? You gotta do this. There you go, it's gone. like the budget. Right. 
You got ten grand in a big chunky tech area. You left a floating windsock. <laughs> Seriously, how do you spot that? <laughs> Why do people prefer double pads over single? Um, people don't. I like double pads because I don't like single pads. It kind of feels like if people are walking one way and then against each other, single path just isn't wide enough. So I like double tracking. Especially when you get more and more people in the park. You know, that's, that's quite a busy and that's too wide, isn't it? But it's up to you. We'll just put sand when we can't build anything else. Why is that like that? See, there, that could be three white, though. Left the lights as well by the windsock. <laughs> I thought that was a spot on my screen. <laughs> what is this? Space, more freedom. This is a bit of a dead space here. Game is a mixed broadcast tycoon in Sim Airport. Not sure why you say Sim Airport. Kind of feel the need to build something though, but I don't know what yet. Hmm, where's the nearest toilets then? So we've got toilets over here. We've got toilets here. Yeah, that's not a bad show. The only, the only question then is how do we enclose it really? What sort of style enclosure do we go for? I 
Dave, thank you for 89 months, tier 2. How many of Puppy's mates have you managed to kick out already from being vandals? A Pups is a mechanic. A very lazy mechanic. Oh, sorry, no. He's supervisor mechanic. I forgot. He doesn't do the work. He supervises. Is that right, Pups? That's what you said, anyway. Toggle automatic day night cycle. Doesn't seem to make any difference, does it? Like if I have it on orange or white, it doesn't seem to toggle the day night cycle. I don't know if it's a bug. more bins around, I think. Especially outside the toilets. There you go. Little convenience right there. Uh, go from memory. If you toggle that, then it will do an automatic download cycle. It's not moving, though. If I, if I untoggle it, toggle it and speed up time it's not changing is it is it one of the campaign maps uh, not really I started a multiplayer map and we've completed the goals apart from this one it's been built built out from scratch but there is quite a big purchasable area to be had Look, Imp is fixing Dave's Dremel. Feels like Imp fixes most things around here. I know it's my part rating. What's this outer one? Time until next month. See, time's burning down, but it's not changing the day-night cycle. I don't know, maybe it's just multiplayer. I'm just looking at our profit. It's gone right down. It's gone, it's gone from three grand to two grand to 1,100. Food, drink, sales are good. Ride admissions have dropped massively. Park admissions have dropped. Yeah, the number of people coming has dropped, basically. Maybe we should hit them with an advertising campaign. Oh my god, the queue here. Three month radio campaign. Run some Twitch ads, that's what I'm doing. 
unskippable ones, Tom. Random decorations. You're sub, Chris. Yeah, but we'll have a bug where you, if you sub, you still see ads. <laughs> this wall still annoys me. Can we just paint it at least? Can we paint it that color? No? Yes? There we go. Just so it stands out a lot less. There we go. Now we don't see it so much. You subbed and you have turbo. Oof. Twitch likes you, Dave. I want to go to the 4D cinema again. They're stopping you. It's only a fiver. Right, money's coming back up again. Which is nice. I think people are coming to the park once more. Okay, I think it's time for another ride. We need something. Pull in the punters. Kind of got the... Actually, we need to put the rocket back. And also put some shops over here. I think. people to walk in between that or around it. some styling on that. for decorations. Perhaps a little bit too busy.
Right, let's put the... Um, which ride was the rocket thing? The Apollo rocket ride. Can anybody remember? Observation tower. Apollo Funtine, there it is. Contains unresearched objects, medieval structures, and effects. Interesting. So, what would that come under? Medieval structures and effects. What would that come? That would come under decoration, wouldn't it? Surely. Well, it built it, but it must have built it without the bits that we didn't have unlocked. It must have done. Candy is now available. I think we'll have a shopping area here. We'll have a ride here. Maybe a ride here, shops there, and then something through here. I'm also thinking about transportation at some point, and how to get people around. Does that have a ghost train? Uh, I do not know, to be honest. Shops. Possibly a staff room. I don't know if that's big enough to be honest. I'll have to be out here. Something like that, maybe. Then we could have shops facing outwards and that way. Let's put the gate. Not that kind of gate. Put the gate there, then put the employee path here. Then we'll get the depot down. So we can get the staff room down. Depends which way you want to face the shops out because. DPNT forget to add in one of them stalls, that at most theme parks, where every ticket's a winner, as long as you hit 21 you will get a prize, but every ticket is a winner sklove sklove skl scumbag. <laughs> sklove sklove scumbag. <laughs> where every ticket is a winner, I don't know what you mean Dave. That's at level two. And that is at level two. Interesting. Is that lined up? It's so hard to tell.
I think that's lined up. You're well, Sklovsky. Me and the GF are sitting in the cold because the landlord managed to let the oil for the central heating run out, Sklov. Hoping we'll get some delivered soon, lol. There's just something about the way TTS reads out those, like, Sklov things. It just makes it funny. Well, I hope you get some heating soon, Sklov. <laughs> That's horrible sitting there in the cold. What's the temperature today, actually? It's not ridiculously cold, is it? 8 Celsius where I am. Although it is mm, minus 1 last night. Looks like it's getting milder this week. So it's not too bad. Uh, what's the zoning look like for this? Zone 5. We'll have another one for zone five. Right, we've got a staff room, we've got a depot, shoot. What else do we need? Shops really. to exchange the um, the layout of this. I don't know what to do with that. It's all dead space. We could put a training thing in there, I guess. Just about fit. See, Trusty, thank you for a year. Happy anniversary. Right, we can have shops along here and shops along here now. They're just going to sit here whenever we want them. Just drop them in there as and when. Shops for high tech burgers, high tech bubble tea, high tech hot dogs. How can you sell a high tech burger? I'm genuinely curious about that. Probably needs a seating area as well. Can have this as a nice big seating area. It's all electric. <laughs> Satan's revenge advertisement has ended. 81% effective. Let's go on here. 
Pop Poppy's was what? Did you see that? Pops just did something. Hang on. Hang on. I'm telling you, he just fixed something. Look. He's actually doing something. A popular vlogger made a video riding Heartbreaker after recently splitting up from her boyfriend. Seating there. Right, if we put some curbage down. back seating do we not have any kind of I thought we had picnic benches benches it's like why is there no tables and stuff I thought I had picnic benches somewhere. It was like a mod. I know, I've seen them, I've seen them, definitely. Recent negative news decreased the interest in theme parks still. Blimey. Prop drop is broken. Being worked on by Imp. Definitely seen it. Hmm. I don't know where it was. Um, do some bins and stuff. Oh, that's annoying. I want to put the bin at the, like, here. At the end of that curb, and I can't. That's a bit frustrating. Hmm. Not sure like that. <laughs> yeah, you can't not snap it. Like it, it'll only snap into certain positions. Let's get some shops open anyway. Right, what do we want? More burgers, don't we? Get rid of that. Spin that round. Drop in the burgers. Fries. How much do we sell fries for? Three dollars, definitely. Hamburger, you're probably looking at near six dollars. Five fifty, five ninety. Two ninety and five ninety. There you go. 
Put the curb at the end, then the bin would go in. You mean along here? It will, but it stops people walking that way, doesn't it? Bubble tea always does well. Of course, you just got rid of the employee path. Right click to delete. Right, bubble tea and burgers. We want cotton candy, probably. Cotton candy. <laughs> Afternoon from scorching Cape Town. Ooh. Eight Celsius here, dude. Yeah, I don't know if people are going to walk here yet. Because, you know, they don't walk to the shops. We need a ride here to pull them over. A good one, I think. It is the tech zone. So maybe something like a power surge. Uh, power surge, blueprints, silver look. Face palm, no, no, no. Possibly that. Contains sci-fi props, unresearched. I mean... Thematically, that works here. But we're missing some props. Thirty-four Celsius here. Oof. Uh, corn dogs, funnel cakes. We don't have an information desk up here yet. Should probably put that down. Now we need to build this out shortly. Satan's revenge is broken. Uh oh. Satan's Revenge is being worked on by Tom Sunday. I think he must have bought a map. I'm broke. This bubble tea is really worth the money. Is it? Is bubble tea worth the money? What about now? Why is that burger stand not filling up? Buns. The missing buns. They've ordered a hundred buns and they've not arrived. Uh, umbrellas, turkey legs, souvenirs. Souvenirs would be... I don't think we have a souvenir shop yet. Maybe we should drop one of them in. I just don't think we do. Yikes, look at this. Absurdly large sombrero. How much money should we make from this, do you reckon? I reckon a, a, a sombrero's got to sell for $8, easy. It's well worth it. I'd pay $8 for a large sombrero. Sun visor. Well, you know, if it's sunny in the desert, you're going to need one. 
A normal sombrero, probably 550. Same with the tricorn, same with the pirate hat. A ball cap, fiver. Sunglasses in the desert, supply and demand. Spooky pumpkin, meh. Medieval cap, meh. A cool watermelon. Spooky top hat, fiver I reckon. Festive top hat, 490. And a snow guest hat in the desert, seven dollars, definitely. <laughs> definitely charging more for that. Right, can we get that ride over here yet? Is there something with that bit? Search down. Currently working on soft drinks. Yeah, all the shops are linked, otherwise they'd be flashing, I think. They're all they're all connected. Oh, he's finally just opened the souvenir shop. Come on, buy something. I want somebody to go there so we can, like, see what they think about it and the prices. Come on, you want a hat, mate. You want a hat. Go on, Ralph. What do you get? What do you get? It's a pirate hat. Monorail was a really good deal. That's fine. Don't care about that. Oh, good choice, sir. Good choice, Ryan. His favorite attraction is Blackout. Very good choice. He's going to go on blackout with that hat on, I reckon. Hmm, what else do we sell? Cookies? Donuts? Pizza? Maybe we should sell some things on the other side now. I've like pizza around this side, cookies. Nice. Well done. Pizza, cookies, and corn dogs. Not sure what you mean, Crow Daddy. Donkey, how you doing, dude? Thank you for 82. Time does go by. Thank you for 82 months. Tom H. with almost two years. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Right. Ride. Let's get the ride down. Still don't have sci fi props. I don't want to build it so close to that ride. Those trees we might have to replace. <laughs> 
seven dollars, I reckon. Uh, there is where you can win prize for doing stupid stuff like getting ping pong. Oh, those things. Yeah, I've not seen those. Six. Um, what do you want to put down here? Nature, cacti. Let's get some of these down there. There's a shortage of ride parts. Great. Not sure what we can call this ride. It's called Lab 06 at the moment. Bit of a weird name. Then it's branded Lab 06 as well. As if this guy. Whoa, do you see that? His hat like despawned when he got on the ride. He just folded it up and put it in his pocket. Right, maybe we should get people uh, coming over here. I think we should hit them with a leaflet campaign. Select attraction. Come and see our wonderful new ride. We'll advertise it on the radio. Come to Lab 06. While you're here, buy a silly hat and a hot dog. Prop Drop is being worked by Tom. Blackout's being worked by Tom Sunday. is allergic to work, I think. Right, where's the toilets? These are nearest toilets. I think maybe we have to stick some toilets here. We're going to have a ride here. But given all the food and drink, you've got to have toilets, I think. Maybe like here some more. Buy a chunk of land. Uh, RB score, thank you for two years. Happy anniversary. Do we not have, like, toilet prefabs? Rectangle individual. What's this? Hold left shift and move your mouse up and down to raise the lower selection box. Click on the size of selection box and click again for the height. Wait, 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 wait. Can we copy blueprints like this? 
Can I use this to copy past or something? Can I do this with it? Okay, that's highlighted it. Create. All in the first days. That's what. Is this gonna work? Toilet and blueprint saved. I I don't know if that works or not. Ooh. Two grand. Ooh. Ooh. And blueprint stuff. Nice. Well, that's going to save time. That's going to save a long time. Cool. You should close the park every 24 hours and everyone has to pay again to get in to make money. I don't think that would work. Tell me you've emptied the entire park. Right, we need to extend this zone to include that. So, why do we charge people to go to the toilet, but we don't charge people for first aid? You know what I mean? Why do you charge people for one but not the other? It's not like either is an option. Like, I need the bathroom. Oh, well, you have to pay for that, sir, or you'll have to hold it in, as opposed to, I'm bleeding, please help me. Oh, well, that's fine. That's free. Because if they're injured in your park, they might sue you. If somebody gets a ruptured bladder because they can't afford the bathroom, they might sue me. Or they just, you know, decide to go somewhere in the park. <laughs> I kind of feel like you have to have benches outside. Actually, I don't want to do that. If you're going to have benches outside the toilets, because I'm sure we've all experienced this, but sometimes you have to wait for people because they take a very long time. Are you saying we should charge for first aid? I'm saying, do you not think it's weird that we charge for the toilet but not charge for first aid? see that rubbish on the ground that you little scumbag you it's not like there are bins around can't believe how often it rains in this desert it's amazing Should be the way around. Well, you know, medic medical stuff costs a lot of money. Charging for taunts is weird. There's some train stations near me that do that. They do that in Liverpool Street. I'll tell you why they do it. It's to it's to avoid people walking in and off the street and using the toilets. <laughs> you know. And so instead, they just stand outside and beg people for 20 pence. 
It doesn't really fix the problem. Or they just end up going in an alley somewhere, you know? I think that should be a footpath. Yeah, I don't know the monorail yet. I mean, at the moment, you can get off this station and walk, but it's kind of... It's heading towards the point where you need more transport, I think. t-shirt shops oh we gotta sell t-shirts we've got to sell t-shirts what are they shirts here we go shirts and snow cones i think Shirts. There we go. 150 profit? Yeah. A Raptor shirt available in bright green. Oh, wait, hang on. Where's this work? Raptor shirt available in green. $5. and blue happy color that's not very happy color is it that's, that's happy colors more i don't know what's what's a happy color pink's a happy color isn't it there you go. that's that's a happy pink right there and then we can get a rocket mm, dark blue rocket i guess dad can get one Cupcakes. Coloured shirts on cupcakes. Why not? Adventure shirt. SMD Junior. Thanks for 32 months. Maybe a little bit brighter. Got to stand out. And then a donut. It's got to be donut coloured. A little bit bright. There you go. Ish. Donut coloured ish. And then the snow cones. I reckon we can charge more than that for a snow cone. Ah, it's like a little shopping precinct, this. How's the money? We're not doing great on profit. Also, food and drink sales are not up or down, but that's probably because there's not as many people in the park. Park admissions are down in general. Your park was showcased by a popular content creator. What? Doesn't feel like it. I wonder which content creator they got. Save that. I'm not happy with this dead space here, though. It just doesn't flow through there. Need to change that at some point. I wish I had a massive squirrel statue. The only time it goes dark is when it's raining. The whole day night thing doesn't seem to work. Wait, you can change that. As if you can do that. Nobody told me we could do this. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> As if you can do that. That means we could change the whole Lab 06 thing, couldn't we? Because that's just a sign. Well, you see, what do we call this? What do we call this now? We can call... We can change this ride completely. The customization's amazing. Lab nuts, Bob. Why would you call it Bob? Bob's a good name. Is your name Bob by any chance, Hilo? I reckon you see, you buy a burger here, then you go on that. That's what you do. It should be called, like, I don't know. Burger revisit. Pub 2.0. Why don't we just call it like HTML2? <laughs> I mean, we are in the tech zone. Maybe that's it. Maybe because we're in like a tech zone, we should have like tech tech jokes going on. Call it SQL. He had one 360 cameras, Bob. One stream. I don't remember that. I want to move that to the... That way we can do that. in the middle instead. Let's do some decoration-y stuff there. HTML 404. <laughs> or should we call it HTTP 404? HTTP 404. And then we'll just call the ride. It's not found. <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me uh, how to get to HTTP 404 ride, please? I'm sorry. Nobody's managed to find it yet. You could do that gag all day. They go to the information desk. And they're like, no, it's not, not been found. <laughs> Can you rename a truck? I don't think so. No, it's just a scenery item. The text on the truck you can rename. Yeah, you can call that HTTP 404 or something. Although it seems to be left justified. Interesting, there was that size. I think it's the position of it. When they created it, I think when they created it, they must have said it's like left justified and put it there. They should have done it centered, I think. I kind of feel like the 4D cinema needs a rename now. Look at the queue down there. It's quite a big queue. Prop drop was awesome. We're going 
going to have to charge more for that. Yeah, well, if you put spaces at the beginning, I'm not sure it'll fix it. Try. No, it does actually. Yeah, you can do it that way. Secure connection, please. We should have called it SSL. <laughs> There's something here, but I don't know what. Um, oh, I finally got a cash machine! Finally got the cash machine! I can't believe it. That took forever to get. It seems like such a basic thing. I might redo the server and put one down. Oh, we need to scatter these around the park. I don't want people running out of money. TVs helping queues. I think they just add decorations. I don't know if they um, make people get less bored of queuing up. I don't know. Like, will they queue for longer if there's a TV? Don't know. Make sure people can get at the cash, that's the important thing. You think they get less impatient? I don't know. We've got 1,300 guests in the bar. I'm starting to make a profit. Team 1 research has nothing to do. Right, so we have no more shops to get. Might have a look at water rides and see if there's anything more there. There's nothing left to research still. Transport rides, coasters, boat rides. Wait, what? Statistics. Hmm. Call the cinema DDoS. DDoS 4D. Maybe, maybe instead of calling it 4D, it should be d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d There should be a case. It should. There you go. Happy. 